room 19, Linda, the bathroom, and the electrical box. When I first moved in to this building, we got me and my son, we got situated and everything, and I went in the kitchen to cook. And I deep fried us some chicken. So I put the top on the pot so that the oil can cool off and then I could put it in a canister. So me and my son ate in our room and I went back in the kitchen to get the oil. I was sure it had cooled off by then. And as I opened the top it did look kind of funny and I started pouring it into the canister and someone had poured out some of the oil and added water to it and when I told when I said this or mentioned this to other people in the building most of those people said oh that was Linda it's like Linda does everything and Kohler he was right across the hall from me. If I open my door and his door is open, I can see in his room. Um, he said, another said, that Linda has a mind of a five-year-old. Now, Linda is coming around sabotaging their shit. And that's what they say. Oh, Linda has a mind of a five-year-old. Now this picture was taken because when I walk out of my room, which is back this way, room 16, I step out of my room. As I step out of my room, I had to use the restroom, which they simulated me to do so. So I step out of my room. As I step out of my room, Linda, it's right here. I mean, mostly every time I step out of my room, I'm going to see Linda. And then I stopped seeing Linda for a while. And then I started seeing this little short guy. But anyways. Okay, Linda's right here. And she hurries up and runs in the restroom. As she runs in the restroom, I go back in the room and I grab my phone so I can hear her take her picture. I already got it ready to take her picture when she comes out that bathroom. When she came out of that bathroom, I snapped the picture, and she was in that room. The picture that should have had a video. The picture does not show what I saw, and this is what I saw. When Linda came out of that bathroom, she put her hand on this box, and then she put her hand here, and she was in that room. It's like she moved with a speed of light. Kind of like it wasn't even a real fucking person or something. I don't know. It's a lot of paranormal shit going on in my damn world. And it's hard to explain it. Well, it's not hard to explain it. I can actually explain it. This shit just sound crazy. Shit sound crazy because it is crazy. Now, okay, so I snapped a picture and I should have gotten Linda's on this camera. But she moved so goddamn fast. Not only did she move quickly, the door is also closed. That's how fast she moved. Now, also when I first moved in this building, um, I was going to use the restroom. I was not simulated to use the restroom. I was just going to use the restroom. And someone was in the restroom. So I went and I stood right here that's like where the kitchen is kitchen is like right here i went and stood outside the door of the kitchen right here to wait for whomever was in the bathroom to come out when she came out of the bathroom she came and i started walking toward the bathroom and she walked past me and she had this stench on her Ugh. it's like the stench it did oh and then, then later on they kept sending that stench into my room Anyways, it smelled like homeless people because homeless people have that stench on them, some of them. Okay, now, 
this box, this electrical box. Years ago, I found out, I mean, many years ago, I found out that there were geeks or nerds in Japan, and they could turn people lights off anywhere with their computer. Okay, last year, I guess sometimes watching the Big Bang Theory, and on the Big Bang Theory, they were doing it, and there were also guys in Japan who was turning off the lights. Now, when I moved in this building, the lights would go off. Damn it, every day, the lights would go off. And someone would go turn the lights on. And at first, when someone went and turned the lights on, they stayed on. But then it started being, this is what happened one night. This is what happened one night. Because when the lights was going off, I was thinking about the Big Bang Theory in Japan. The lights went out one night, a little after 10, I guess, and someone came out of their room to turn the lights on, and I can hear them walk past my door. And it had to be a female, the way, you know, the heel sound on the, on the floor. When that female walked back past my door and went back into her room, and I don't know who it was, I didn't go to see, is, is it? The lights went back out, and it seemed like it only gave her enough time to sit down. Lights went back out, and she went back. You can hear her going back again. And again and again, and it was eight times. And the eighth time that she went back, I couldn't help it. I just started laughing, you know, because I'm like, these people are turning off these lights so that they can... See how many times you're going to come and turn them on. And there's a camera right here. I'll show that. There's a camera. The cameras didn't come in the building until I came in the building. Yes. That's why all of a sudden I look up and see cameras. And I mean cameras everywhere. I didn't see these cameras when I first moved in that building. But that's another story. Okay, so. I'm laughing at her because... They are, she doesn't know that, that someone else is the one turning these lights out. Anyways, one night the lights went out and my son, he went out to turn them on. Now when the lights go out, the light in the room doesn't go out. It's just whatever is plugged up in the sockets will go out. So my son, he went out and he turned the lights on. And he came back in, he sat down, and lights went out. He got up again. So the third time, when he came back in the room, after the third time, I told him, no, you're not going to go and turn the lights back on. And then I told him about how someone can turn the, the um, lights out just by using a computer. And in this building, there is a room that has like two, three, maybe even four computers. Yeah. Yeah, this is a Rosemary baby building for real. Okay, now, this thing did keep going on and off, on and off. I mean, it's like almost every day, almost every day it would do that. Okay, so now another time it goes off and no one goes and turns it on, no one. So my son gets up and he goes and he turns it on. And I'm just looking at him, because I'm about to laugh at him. And then he comes back in the room, he sits down, and he goes off again. So now, he goes out and to turn it on again. When he goes out, Cola comes out of his room, because I guess Cola's going to turn it on, you know, also. So, my son goes out, Cola comes out in the room. My son goes out and he turns it on. When my son turns around, Kohler is out of his room. And Lisa comes out of her room and turns the damn lights back off. My son saw her do it and Kohler saw her do it. How come Lisa got away with it? Not Lisa. I do apologize. Not Lisa. Linda. Why did Linda get away with doing that? But there are times that Linda was not there to turn that light out. 
they had Linda come out to turn the light out so that it would discredit what I told my son that they are playing with computers. Now, Lin my son and Kohler see Linda turn it off. So now that means that every time lights go out, Linda is turning them off. Now they're blaming Linda. Hmm, that's to discredit what I told my son. Now, there was another room, and it's on this side right here. You can't see it, but room number one. And there was a brother in there. His name was Roger. And Roger and this guy named Jenkins. And matter of fact, there were three Jenkins in the building. Um, when I, and when I got there, uh, one Jenkins moved out, so it was only two. But him, a guy named Jenkins, and this pink guy, they call him Cowboy. They were taking Walter to court, and they were about, seemed like they were about to win the, the case, and I'm going to talk about that one later. Okay, so to show, and then things happened to show everyone that it was not Linda, because Linda possibly wasn't even there that day. However, Roger was taking them to court, and whatever was going on, a couple of days before Roger moved out, this box kept turning off only Roger's lights. And I can hear Roger in the hallway, he coming back and he turning them back on and come back. And then after a while, he wouldn't even come on. So I hear him in the hallway knocking on doors. He's asking everyone, is your lights out? Is your lights out? Is your, your electrical socket out? You know, is your electrical socket out? And, and people were also in the hallway with him and no. None of us was harmed and he came and knocked on my door and he said, Israel, your electrical sockets, I said, no, they are working, they are not out. And then he said, so why is it only my room where the sockets don't work? Only in my room. And then he said, and no matter how I push this button, they will not come back on. And he was pushing that button as he was pushing that button. Lights, n normally the lights would go off and then come back on, you know, because he's turning it. He's turning it. He's trying to turn it on. So he goes, he turns it on. Everybody lights is already on, so it stay on. But when he turned it off, our lights still stayed on. And our lights was, should have turned off, but our lights still stayed on. And his lights would not come back on. So... This was a creepy, 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 creepy built-in. And beware of church people. Because all these people are church people. All these people have God, have a God, whatever a God name is. Some people just got a God, no name. Um, they are religious people. And they are Christians. And if they are religious and they are Christians and they have a God, Muslims are involved in this shit too and so are hebrews and anyone else that has a god and are religious there are some hebrew sects out there that are not religious they deal with the culture and they are not religious they are not christians and they do have a God, but it's their God is not like the God of the land, especially the God of the Christians. Christian people. And they fucked up as brain cells. A Christian will harm another person. They'll harm another Christian. They don't care. Because it's for the greater good yeah it's for the greater good and this is on linda who had that nasty stench to her oh that's what i want to talk about too sometime when i get ready to take a shower you know i wait a while but then i get up and i get everything i need to go into the shower i still may wait a while and then when I do go get in the shower, someone's in the shower. I say, okay, that's my fault. I waited that long. You know what I'm saying? A couple of times um, that happened, someone was in the shower. It was Linda. 
And each time, the first time I walked to my room, I could see her door was open. And no one was in the hallways, but I just saw the door open, the bathroom door was open. So I'm like, mm, whatever, pay no attention to it. And I went on in my room. Now the second time it happened, I got ready to walk to my room, back to my room, because someone was in the bathroom, I mean in the shower. So I got ready to walk back to my room. As I got ready to walk back to my room, Cola comes out. And I was like, you know, I just stopped, you know, we discussed the weather or whatever, you know. He saw I had my shower shoes and um, I saw the uh, Linda's door open and the bathroom door open. And I was like, hmm. I told Cola, that's the second time I've seen her door wide open. And he said, yeah, she's in the shower. So, okay. So I leave, I put my things in my room, and I leave Cola. Cola goes in his room. After a minute, I come out, I get ready to go to the restroom. Because now I'm about to do some 007 shit. So I get ready to go to the restroom. No one is in the hallway. That door is open. I walk over there. Linda does not live in that damn room. Just because you are in an apartment building and you think that these apartments are actually being occupied by tenants? No. They're being occupied by church people. And how do I know that Linda does not live in that room? And why did Linda have that stench on her? And people say, yeah, she's clean like that, but her body stinks. It's like something's dead on the inside. Her body stinks when she walks past you. Hmm. Okay, so I look in her room, and this is what I see. There's a dress that has a TV on it. It has something else on it. I don't remember what it was, but it wasn't a box, it wasn't a bottle, there are no ashtrays. And they said, oh, she's always smoking in her room. She smokes in her room all the time. Her walls are so yellow. She smokes in her room. There were no ashtrays anywhere. Not one ashtray was in that room. Not one fucking thing was out of place. Not one damn thing was out of place. Should have took my damn camera so I could have took a video of it. And I said, Linda, don't even live here. She comes by every now and then. Sometimes you will see her maybe come in. And then you might see her go out. Maybe in the same day, maybe not in the same day. But there were people in this building that I know actually lived in this building. Because we were there we were in our places every day it was no place we went to spend the night for the weekend um there i mean there were some brothers in the building who probably went to their girl's house or maybe the hotel for the weekend or something but some of the people did live in this building but some of them did not and that was linda and then it's this other guy i don't know his name but I do have his picture. Every time I got ready to take his picture, his ass ran too. But the day I was leaving, they played a game on me and I got his picture. Mm -hmm. And I got his picture where he tried to move. Okay, nigga, you wasn't fast enough. Not this time. And I'll show that picture in this in the next segment because we're running 19 minutes. So, yeah, this is Linda. In room 19, the bathroom, and the electrical box. Church people. And the nasty, sick, damn things they do. Shit talker. Oh, shalom.